Hello, this is Kyle Rote. In watching a game of football, it is my opinion that most fans make the mistake of trying to watch the ball too much. They seem to feel that if they take their eyes off the ball, or off the player who possesses the ball, that they will miss what's going on, that they will miss the play. Well, this is a normal mistake to make, whether you are at the game or watching on television. But I suggest that you will enjoy watching the game of football a great deal more if you do not watch the ball so closely. To substantiate what I'm saying, let me tell you how the football players, the coaches, and the scouts watch a game. And keep in mind that we're talking about the men whose job is to see everything that goes on down on the field, and they cannot afford to use a system that would limit their vision. To begin with, the experts seldom watch the ball. They focus their eyes on the group of players around the ball, primarily the two offensive guards. By doing this, the experts get a little jump on everybody else because, with few exceptions, the offensive guards, the moment the ball is snapped, will tell you what type of play is coming up. If you watch the guards, you will see them do one of three things. They will either block straight ahead, or they will pull out of the line of scrimmage in one direction or another, or they will take a step back and begin to pass block. If they block straight ahead, this usually means that the ball carrier will be running with the ball into some area between the two offensive tackles. If the guards pull out of the line to lead interference, this usually means a running play to the side to which they are pulling. As an example, if one guard pulls to the right, this usually means that he will be making a crucial block for the ball carrier somewhere along the line of scrimmage. At the moment you see the guard pull to his right, you can immediately switch your vision to one or more of the defensive linemen in the area to which the guard is pulling. And this, in turn, will enable you to see one of two things. You will see the guard make actual contact, and thus you'll enjoy the thrill of seeing a block well executed. Or you will see the defensive man make a good defensive maneuver. You'll see how he avoided the block and perhaps spoiled the offensive play. You would not have been able to see this if you had kept your eyes glued to the man with the ball. When two guards pull out of the line, I suggest you watch the second guard, or what we call the trailing guard. For example, if both guards pull to the right, watch the trailing guard, which in this case would be the left guard. Normally, he will be the one who will be involved in making the crucial block for the runner. There are, of course, many other interesting elements to be seen throughout the course of a game that can be seen only by watching individual players instead of watching the ball. Watch only an offensive tackle, for instance, and you will see some of the explosive blocking that goes on down in that line. Or you may see the tackle shoot across the line of scrimmage and make a jarring block on the middle linebacker. Or on an in-run to the right side, you may see the left tackle go downfield and come over to help the runner by blocking on one of the smaller defensive backs. By watching an offensive end, you may, for the first time, begin to realize the problems he experiences in trying to get past the linebacker just to get downfield to catch a pass. Or, by watching only the end, you may see how he executes his fakes on the pass defenders. On an interception, watch the other defensive backs go to block the intended receiver first, inasmuch as he poses the immediate threat to a successful return. By watching the men in the offensive backfield, you may be able to spot a clue as to what they're about to do. Some backfield men, even in professional football, tip off the opponent by taking a different stance on different plays. And, of course, all backs are supposed to take the same stance for every play, but if you watch the alignment of their feet just before the ball is snapped, you may be able to detect the direction to which they'll run. On kickoffs, watch the players on the kicking team as they run downfield under the kick and see if they protect their own area instead of making the mistake of running too closely alongside a teammate. And on a punt, watch the men who try to block the punt. When they fail to block the punt, watch them wheel around and go back upfield to block for the man who catches the kick. Now, these are only a few of the more important aspects of play to watch, but usually they can only be seen if you do not watch the ball so closely.